Catherine here. It is January 30th, 2015, and I am almost done with the stocking. Um, been working on the embroidery. Unlike the uh, mouse tails, which were three threads of embroidery thread, um, this was six, so it's thicker and shows up better. So, just a quick note, this is not embroidery thread, but if we're using it as an example, um, if we have three threads of embroidery thread doubled up and knotted at the bottom, that is essentially six threads when it's in the actual fabric. If it's three threads that are not doubled up and just, or not knotted at the bottom, and just one is hanging loose, then that is three threads. Or if there's six threads threaded through but one end is loose instead of them doubled up and knotted at the bottom, then that's a six thread um, embroidery stitch. So it's good to know how that kind of works together. So today I'm going to put on the bells. These are little rattle balls like cat toy balls um, and a bell is very much like a button and has a little loop on the bottom that you put the thread through this is more like a button and this this is done by bringing the thread up through the top down through the bottom up through the top down through the bottom and do it several times and then knot it in the back pretty simple that's basically what we're going to do with this bell except slightly different structure. So the first thing I'm going to um, do the pink one here. I'm just going to bring the, I have my needle thread threaded and knotted. I'm just going to bring the needle up in about the center where I want the bell to be. So here's my bell and I got the thread through. The first thing I'm going to do is put the needle through that pull it all the way through and put the needle back down next to where the thread came up and, and pull it tight. So the next part is kind of tricky. You have to do it again, bring the needle up, but you have to kind of keep it, keep it tight so it can get a little awkward. So you find where it is, and then you pull the needle through again. And then you put it down again, and then you bring it up again. And I do it about six times to get a nice firm hold there. All right, so once you put it through the thread through the loop several times, got a nice strong hold there, and I knot knotted it in the back, and I'm done. I have a bell, a couple bells now, and it's has a nice jingle to it. So I'm going to do the third bell, finish the embroidery, and I'll be pretty much done. The next step will be to take the back piece, and actually I'm going to use a sewing machine to just sew the two pieces together. And it'll be a real stocking at that point. So this has been, this has been Catherine's tutorial for making a stocking.